Deer Gun Week 2018. Ohioans harvested over 6,500 deer, despite dealing with some poor weather. The traditional Deer Gun Week is always held the following week after Thanksgiving. If you used a processor to butcher your deer, you may have come in contact with biologists from the Division of Wildlife who are collecting information about Ohio's deer herd. So what we're collecting here today is we're collecting age information off of the deer and we're collecting beam diameter. What we do is we take year and a half old bucks and we collect, the measure the diameter at the base of the antler and with that information we can gauge the health of our deer herd in Ohio. Deer, like humans, replace their teeth at certain ages. Deer that are born this year have less than six teeth, and then at that point we count the teeth. They have a maximum of six teeth on their bottom jaw on one side. And at a year and a half, they replace the three premolars. And we can tell that information, you know, we can tell the age of the deer based on their teeth and then the wear pattern on the teeth. With the information, in, ultimately what we can do is we can gauge the population of the deer in Ohio, the health of the herd, and it will help us set hunting regulations in the future. It's also a chance for Division of Wildlife employees to interact with hunters and celebrate successes like this eight-year-old girl who harvested her very first deer. Awesome! Um, we were in the deer, me and my dad were in the deer blind and um, they were at our corn, there was three at our corn pile and I shot, I shot them all. Is this the first deer you've ever shot? Yeah. How, how did that make you feel? Were you nervous, excited? Excited. Meanwhile, in Tuscarawas County, biologists continue <laughs> testing deer for CWD, <laughs> or chronic <laughs> wasting disease. Division of Wildlife employee Lori Graber explains. Well, today what we are doing is expecting hunters to come in uh, into the inspection stations to bring their deer so we can look at it for signs of chronic wasting disease. Uh, along with that, we are pulling lymph nodes out and sending those down to the Department of Agriculture for chronic wasting disease testing. Chronic wasting disease is a fatal disease that affects cervids here in the United States. Currently here in the state of Ohio, chronic wasting disease has been found in captive deer facilities. To date, we've had three facilities that have had positives. Um, to date, we do not have chronic wasting disease in the wild deer herd population, but that's why we're testing is to monitor our herd. So once we collect the lymph nodes from the deer that the hunters harvested, we are taking one and a half lymph nodes and putting it, putting it into formalin to preserve it and then also a half a lymph node goes into a roll pack. The roll pack we hold at our office in our freezer. The formalin jars go down to the Department of Agriculture for chronic wasting disease testing. Um, they have a process that they utilize there at their facility to sample the deer for chronic wasting disease. Right now where we're located at here in Sugar Creek, we are in a disease surveillance area. We have two inspection stations and if you kill a deer in one of the seven townships that fall in Holmes or Tuscarawas County, it is mandated to bring your deer to our inspection station. To date, we have not found chronic wasting disease in, in Ohio.